Hello my friends, welcome on this video tutorial. Daniel is here from Tips to Fix and today I will show you how to configure this Wi-Fi range extender. This equipment it will help you to extend your Wi-Fi strength on your house. If your router is placed on the living room on the first floor and when you go in the second floor or on the third floor and uh, in your room and you see your Wi-Fi waves are very low, this is why this tool is built for. Is built to extend your Wi-Fi range. You put this uh, Wi-Fi tool on the wall and uh, after that you will have very strength Wi-Fi. And this Wi-Fi range extender it has both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and I will paste the link in the description and you can find this easily on Amazon or eBay. Today on this video tutorial I will show you three steps how to configure it. First of all let's unbox this and let's see what's inside. Okay here it is. Okay, we have a book here. Also, here is the Wi-Fi extender. So, this Wi-Fi extender, just place it on the wall. There are three methods to configure it. Three. Method one is with your app directly from your phone. Method, uh, method two is using your computer, your laptop. So, in my case, I bring my laptop here. And the third step is using the button here for synchronizing. Okay, let's go directly to the point. Let's go to configure it with the first method. Okay, first thing you have to do, put this Wi-Fi extender on the wall power here. Okay, so here it is. This is the first step you have to do. Place this on the wall and put it on the power. And here it is. You will see the yellow light. Okay, so it's blinking and it's searching for connection. After we connect Wi-Fi range extender to the power, Next step is you come here on your laptop, open up your laptop and uh, connect with Wi-Fi Ranger. Connect with Wi-Fi Range Extender. Here is my, my extender. You can find yours. Maybe yours is a different brand. But in my case, it's TP-Link Extender. Connect with this. Click Connect. Okay. Now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi extender. Open up your browser. So here on the browser, what I have to do? Network, network connections. Here I want to see my network connections. Here is the Wi-Fi TP link. Double click on this Wi-Fi status and I will see the IP address. Click on details. Here is my IP address for this computer. And this Wi-Fi extender gives me this IP address, 192.168.0.100, okay? But I will see the default gateway. Default gateway is uh, this one, 192.168.0.254, and, and this is the, the default IP for the Wi-Fi extender. Just right here on the browser, 192.168. 0.254 and hit enter and here we are oh we are here on the Wi-Fi extender okay this is the short way how you can find the default IP address for the Wi-Fi extender your Wi-Fi extender first of all welcome on this TP link for security please create a login password okay let's put the login password for security I will put one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's low. Let's use this password we created. It's high, is strength. Okay, and click start. Okay. Never. Okay. So now the Wi-Fi range extender is searching my network for for my router. So next step is search your Wi-Fi home router. Here is tips to fix. In my, in my case, is this one tips to fix.com. Click on this and put your Wi-Fi router password. So you know this password this is your Wi-Fi router password. Next here and select 5G Wi-Fi password. 
if your Wi-Fi router has a, a 5G. My Wi-Fi router, I didn't enable 5G gigahertz on my Wi-Fi router. So I will skip this now. I just connected uh, 2.4 and it's okay for me. But if you want to connect with 5G, here it will be appear on the list. As like these uh, folks are here, skip this. Because I only, I only connect with this seed, tips2fix.com, and uh, it's 2.5, it 2.4 gigahertz, and I just won't confirm. So now we will see extended wife, extended 2.5 gigahertz seed with this extended name on it, tag, okay? So we will see on the we will see on the network now and on the air we will see tips to fix.com underline extended okay and this is for 5G next now is doing a reboot okay so make sure the signal led is on let's go and see now uh, our Wi-Fi extender as we see here our Wi-Fi range extender is on and you see the Wi-Fi 2.5 gigahertz is on and 5G is on. So this is working right now. Let's see directly on the computer and check on the phone if it's listed on the air. Okay, let's see and check. Let's search here on the mobile first and see. Okay, a viable networks. I'm connected to tips2fix.com and uh, here Oh, look at this. Tips2fix.com extended 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz and 5G are both enabled and ready to connect. Okay, let's connect with the password. We will keep the same password. Okay, it will be the same password. And here it is. I connected to tips2fix.com extended version. Extended, okay. Okay, here it is. It's working well. Let's see on the desktop and the computer. You can go here and you can see on the list. Okay, here it is, tips to fixcom slash 5G is enabled and let's try to connect. It's the same password as it was before. Click yes and here we are. So it's connected very well. Let's check for internet now. Okay, YouTube, oh, it's working well. I will show you another method to connect, it's connecting with your phone. So now I need to reset this thing. You just go here on the bottom and click here once. At the reset button, you see, there is a reset button here on the, click it once, the Wi-Fi extender will reset automatically. It's done. Here. So now we are ready to reconfigure it with a mobile app. Okay, now let's configure it with an app. Go here on Play Store, search for Tether and you will see here, search for Tether and we'll see here TP-Link Tether. Maybe you use different brand and you will choose a different app, but I will use this because I'm using TP-Link Tether. Open up here. Okay, so here you have to create a uh, profile, tips to fix at Gmail, create a password. So you will see an email received here from uh, TP link and I will click this Click to finish registration. Okay, activation succeeded. Okay, so now I enable this account on TP-Link. Oh, let's go back on the app. Here, Tether, open up. Okay, put your email. Oh, look at this. Okay, after you log in here, so now no device found. What's wrong with this? First of all, go here on the Wi-Fi. Search for 
viable networks and you will see you you will see Wi-Fi extender listed here on the list oh look at this TP link extender connect with this and for sure you will see no internet okay do a refresh here on the app confirm keep it okay you will see the device here listed here on the app here it is click on this and now we will be connected on a Wi-Fi range extender right, right now so now we are connected on the on the Wi-Fi extender we will create a password for this create your password for 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 this device okay admin one two three four okay click create okay so we are waiting next step select select 2.4 gigahertz host network okay let's find your wi-fi your home wi-fi now but it's 2.4 gigahertz let's connect with tips to fix put your uh, wi-fi router password here i'm connected here as you see click next now search for if you have enabled your 5g 5g option or your wi-fi router choose here the same uh, the same Wi-Fi but in my case I didn't enable it and it's not listed here what we can do is just keep it from here I'm just connected to my host network password is tips to fix and the password is this one here click next and click apply and here it is it's applying your settings on the uh, Wi-Fi range extender okay is 22 percent okay confirm location location looks good okay now we are done click done and connect to your network and I'm connected so as you see the password will be the same let's try and find here on the network now search here and you will see you will see tips2fix.com 2.5 gigahertz extended and also uh, and you will see tips2fix.com uh, underline 5g extended so you search one of them and just connect it method three is using the vps button VP vps button is this one here you see on the extended router and also in my router is this one here VPS WPS and here on the back you will see the VPS button on the router on the router I will push this button once <coughs> here and I will see the VPS is searching here it's working and now click and hold VPS here just click once VPS here on the modem you will see there are both blinking and this will be configured directly let's see they are searching each other you see click on the modem and click once here on uh, extended Wi-Fi router let's see what will happen this method will take two minutes to communicate each other and reconfigure it and this will uh, change from blinking to solid okay the light will change from blinking to solid and when it will be solid it will be configured So as you see now it's connected very well with your router because 
the WPC is uh, switching from blinking to solid on and now the VPS is off because it finished the configuration. But you can see 5G and 2.4G uh, is connected and let's go and see on the mobile now directly if the router is configured well. Let's go back, let's go and see and search for the network. Search here on the Wi-Fi LAN. Okay, let's see a viable network. And here it is, tips to fix, extend it, it's done. You see, one is here, 5G, and another one is here, extended. It's the same password, just click and uh, connect it directly. You don't need to put password again because everything is copied from your home router to the range extended Wi-Fi.